Um, okay. Now, I'll set this up. All right. On Christmas night. Yep. Yep. I had a house with people in it. And all of a sudden, I get a text message uh, with a video being like, I don't know if you like old cars, but you should watch this video. And like, I put it on. And first of all, yeah, I, I saw the hour and 45 minutes or however long it was. Yeah. I was like, Jacob's got to be out of his fucking mind. He's yeah. not going to keep my attention for that. So yeah. I know exactly when to put those videos on. It's when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> so I sit down. And I started it, and I think yeah. I got 15. I think I got about yeah. 15 minutes in it. And the yeah. whole time, I'm just like, what the fuck, Jacob? <laughs> what is, <laughs> where, okay, please. Now, first of all, plug the channel and yeah, tell me, course. what the fuck were you, like, is it the device? <laughs> like, no, where is no, the no, appeal? No, no. Is it just all the right. old cars? <clears throat> all right. So, first of all, what Jerry is leading into is there's a YouTube channel, uh, Vice Grip Garage. This guy flies out across the United States in different places uh, buying old, old cars that haven't run in 15, 20 years. And he works on them right where he buys them. He gets them up and running. And typically, he tries to drive them home uh, upwards of 1,200 miles home. So he's taking a car from like the 70s and just barely fixing it and then trying to drive it across country. And, uh, you know, I, I love old cars. Okay. I love, they're just, they're just simple. There's like four parts to a car, an old car like that to make it run okay. uh, at the very least. And so I have a huge appreciation for old cars. The guy is weird as shit. Yes. Uh, but he's funny and he knows his shit. So like you can watch it and he'll say words weird or, you know, he, he refers to the passenger side as the drinker side. Mm -hmm. Like just like it. But for me, it's entertaining as shit. Because, because of the old not cars? Only, the old cars, okay. like I like what. So there's like a bunch of different aspects. One, it's not the same car that like everybody wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. Hell, it's not a Camaro. He's picking up like 1929 Studebakers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Buick Rivieras, Cadillacs, like anything and everything he can get his hands on, he'll go pick up. Yeah. But to watch him just like go, hey, I bought this car. And then break out a toolkit and just start working on it where it lies. And I, a lot of the fun that I get out of it is because he ignores so many red flags on cars. <laughs> like, it's hilarious. Yeah. Like, there there was one. I was going to send it to you. I was like, Jerry, he's not going to watch the first one. I'm not going to send him this one. Yeah. But he buys, a, he buys an old Chevelle, and it's an American flag. It's painted like an American flag. Hasn't run in 20-some years. Damn. He, he gets it from where it was to a hotel parking lot where he's staying the night and gets this fucking car that is completely shot running the next day. Mm -hmm. that, that, to me, is very impressive. Okay. Like, like, you have to know your shit to do something like that. Like, he he rebuilds the carburetor on the hood of the car. Like, you know, it, it's just, it like, that type of mechanics is impressive. Yeah. Number one, the car is a complete piece of shit. The frame is rotting away. And it's, like, on the back corner where it meets. He lays down, and it's so rusted away, he just starts putting duct tape over it. And he's just, like, you just... You just kind of keep doing this until you feel safe. Like, that's the kind of entertainment that. No, keep going. That's the kind of entertainment that I enjoy. Like, this dude could very easily die on the highway when he's driving home because of how much he ignores on these cars, yeah. which is also the fun thing. Like, it's, it, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I enjoy it. And like I said, like, I thought you would enjoy it. Clearly, you don't get it, but like, yeah, I just it like surpass it like 
Like some of the jokes were kind of like, like, okay, yeah, I got it. Like, oh, thanks, dad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but like cars, like that, yeah, they, they're like, they are beneath me, sir. No, uh, like, uh, like, I I do appreciate when I can watch somebody who can like take something that's been dead for you know a couple of years and fix it. I wish I had that magical ability. I wish yeah, yeah I could go to a scrapyard and be like, "Yeah, get me a pack of chewing gum and a Phillips head screwdriver and and there it starts." Yeah, I wish I could do that. But watching like converting that to like entertainment it's really hard for me um i think about it kind of like i think about like man versus wild or like the last drought show survivor man yeah like that's how i equate it because it's just one dude a camera and he's going to do something and it's something that i find <laughs> oh, yeah. interesting and like it it's not survival but it also yeah. kind of is like, even though he has money and the car breaks down, he can get it towed, whatever, yeah. but he's just doing the bare minimum to like, get it going. And I always find that entertaining. No, and I, if it was like man versus wild and stuff, and you told me in that hour and 45 minutes that somewhere he would be randomly drinking his urine, I would, I would sit there and watch the whole nine <laughs> minutes. Like this reminds me though, like, like of, like the things that you can find on YouTube. There are buried right. treasures on YouTube. Tara yeah. is fascinated with this one channel. And all it is, is a guy who goes to like cow pastures. And for his, you know, what he does is he cleans cows hooves. And it is the grossest goddamn thing I've ever seen. I've watched horror. Is he paid? Is he paid to do this? Yeah. Or is he just driving to random people's farms? No, no, no. He get he like he's like like oh, the veterinarian. Okay. He's the hoof guy. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's not just randomly out in cow pasture. <laughs> no, they. I thought I was like, well, I guess that's interesting. Yeah, they put he's the cows in the 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 things that hold them there, so they stand yeah. and stuff, and then they have yeah. the the hoof lock, so right. the cow's hoof is permanently in this lock and stuff so it doesn't jostle um right. but i have watched like people get splattered on the highway while eating ice cream i have watched yeah. horror movies and like like uh what's that peter jackson one dead uh, brain dead yeah while eating chili and i have yeah. never been like this watching this guy like take care of like fucked up cows feet and shit. And like, like you know, you, it's not like a fingernail. Uh, he'll be like shaving yeah. this shit down and like, you know, it's fine, but you know, he may have like poked through from a rock or like a yeah. stump and stuff. And this cow's foot will start bleeding this like pus. <laughs> I'm like, this is the fucking grossest thing I've ever fucking seen. But Tara watches them all the time. Just this guy who cleans cows hooves. I mean, it's funny, like, the things that gross us out, because everybody mm -hmm. has different things. Like, we're all on the same page for a lot of things. Yeah. But, like, I watch, like, those gore videos constantly. Yeah. And my stomach never turns. Like, I'm just eating chips and watching yeah. somebody, like, fucking cut somebody's head off. <laughs> but, Jesus. but, uh, yeah, I'll send you some. Um, <laughs> But uh, if I see that Dr. Pimple Popper show, I will fucking throw up on somebody. See, now I can like, watch that. And I'm like, oh, that's that's fucking nasty and shit. Okay, I may have oversold it. I won't throw up. But when I see it, I'm just like, you know what? I don't fucking need this in my life. Yeah. Like, I get angry at it that it exists. <laughs> like, flavor of love. Like, I, I, these shows, I just don't need in my life. No. They don't need a show. Like rock of love and shit yeah it's like yeah. that's great that you compare the the woman who like pops at assess on people's like fucking necks to yeah. flavor of flave <laughs> <laughs> i just don't need either of them in my life that's all i'm saying